Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I am going to be recording this makeup look. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. I have already moisturized my face and I am just going to start off by brushing my eyebrows in place with the spoolie. And I am going to be lining my eyebrows with this eyebrow pencil by MAC in the color Spiked. And I'm just going to draw a line at the bottom and draw a line at the top and fill it in. And when I get to the front of the eyebrow, I use a light hand to make it a bit more natural. And then I just brush that in again with the spoolie to get rid of the harsh lines. And I do the same thing for the other brow. to line the brows and clean it up using my concealer and I'm using this concealer by MAC and I use two different concealers I use a lighter one at the bottom and a darker one at the top and the one I'm using at the bottom is the studio finish concealer in NC50 and the one I use at the top is the studio finish concealer in NW40 and I just used that to clean up the brows and uh, clean up whatever mistakes that I made while I was lining the brows. And I do the same thing for the other brow. Now I'm going to set my concealer using this light colored eyeshadow from the Morphe palette and then I'm going to go ahead and get that orange color and go a little bit above my crease with this orange color and then another uh, darker orange color right on my crease and then just blend that in same uh, also from the um, Morphe palette and now I'm going to take this uh, burgundy red reddish color in the morphe palette and this is the morphe 350m so this is going to be a more of a red eye look red eyeshadow look and i'm just putting that all over my lid and i took a dark brown um color in the morphe palette and just to put on the outer v just to give it a give it a little bit more dimension and then I bring that into the crease a little bit more and then just blend that in. And I wanted the uh, out of V a bit darker so I'm using the Carbon Matte Eyeshadow by MAC and I darkened that a little bit. And now I am just lining my eyes and I'm using the Duo Stroke double-ended precision liquid liner and I'm just going to use that to draw a wing line and I made a mistake while I was drawing this wing line but the good thing about makeup whenever you make a mistake you can always fix it so I went back and then I cleaned it up with my concealer Just blending that in. And now I am going to use my mascara and I am using the Benefit Mascara. And I am going to put on my lashes now and I am wearing the Ardell Double Up eyelashes and I'm also using the duo eyelash glue and now I'm just using the same mascara to kind of blend my natural lashes and the lash together and I'm just priming my face now 
I am using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And I'm just going to put that in my T-zone, my forehead, and the areas that I normally get oily. And this is actually a matte primer. And I am going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange to color correct. Just putting that in the darkest spots on my face. And I'm going to spray my beauty blender to make it a little damp and blend that in. Now I'm using the Studio Fix Fluid in the color NW45. And I'm going to just put this foundation all over my face. And I always like to bring it down to my neck a little bit so that way it matches. Just blend that in and I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush as well and now I am just highlighting and I'm using the Ella Gale Pro Concealer in the color Fawn I'm just going to put that in the high points of my face My chin, my nose, my forehead. Doing a little dance in there. <laughs> and now I'm just going to blend with my beauty blender. Just doing tapping motion. And just tapping it in allows it to blend seamlessly. And just blending, blending, blending the highlight. Now I'm going to set the highlight and I'm using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm just going to set all the areas that I highlighted. Now I'm using this brush from Sephora and I'm just going to use that to dust off the setting powder. I don't bake for a very long time so I just put the powder in and then I dust it off. And now I'm going to contour. I'm using this slick contour kit. I'm going to contour my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline, my chin. And just blend that in. Blending that all in, bringing it up what's a little bit to give it that nice gradient. Now I am going to use this blush, and I'm using this blush by MAC, and this is the Sweet as Cocoa in the color Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. I'm just putting that on my cheeks, and now I'm going to line my eyes. I like to close my eyes when I do this. Because then I'm able to line the upper lid and the lower lid at the same time. And now I'm just using a brush without any product on it. And I'm just um, blending out the eyeliner. Just smoking it out. going to use that uh, same red color, that same burgundy color from the Morphe palette to smoke out the um, lash line a little bit more. I'm just smoking it out. And I am using my Too 
face chocolate bar the highlighter shade in there to highlight the in the corner of my eyes and now I'm just going to just set my whole face with this MAC mineralized skin finish powder in dark just kind of have everything just blend in together I decided to come to my nose today I normally don't do this often but my face was looking a little flat so I am going to contour my nose using the sleek contour kit and I'm just blending that in to take that a little higher towards my eyebrows now I'm just going to set my face using the MAC setting spray prep and prime and just give that a minute to dry and now I'm going to highlight using the MAC gold deposit mineralized skin finish I'm just using this fan brush I'm going to highlight the high points of my cheekbones a little bit on my forehead and I'm using a more uh, precise brush and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose as well and my cupid's bow going to line my lips and I am using this lip liner by Boutique and this is the defining brow pencil in mahogany I'm just blending that in going to use this lipstick I'm using the Diorific matte fluid in the color charm I'm just going to put that all over my lip And now I'm using this Urban Decay lipstick. I'm not quite sure what color this lipstick is, but I'll put that in the description box down below. And now I'm just going to put some lip gloss on. And I am using the Plump and Shine Plump and Lip Gloss by Palladium. Going to put that all over my lip as well. And that's it for the makeup look. And now I just went and got my wig. This wig is from Hair Vivi. Got this on the hairvivi.com website, and I love this hair. But I didn't have any time to flat iron it or curl it, so I just used the bio silk to um, get rid of the flyaways and just combed it. But um, that is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and put your comments down below. If there's anything else that you would like me to record or anything you would like to see, please let me know. And thank you. I enjoyed making this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.